thighs. Forget I did that. Anyways, we're here to watch the Eula trailer. I am excited. I was more excited for her than I was for Yan Fei originally, but I've turned out to really like Yan Fei, which I'm quite surprised about. Uh, if you don't know our channel, we do anime stuff, we do Genshin stuff. Uh, be sure to subscribe at 800 followers to go read more fanfiction. It's gonna suck. Let's get right into this. Also, they're already starting with the leg angles. Thanks for sharing the table with me. Yeah? I think all the other patrons are actually avoiding me. Oh, wow, we got a little... Oh, a little Heemdary here. Seriously. Genshin knows what they're doing. Much about my lineage. Even if I were out for She's better, talking to Twitter? <laughs> their turn. Ooh. The Goonhilder clan. Okay. The Roggenvinder clan. Oh, shit, we're getting lore lore. Also, that looks like Wilhelm from ReZero. In Mondstadt's history. Three family houses. Among them, and they went crazy. Blinded by their desires, plunging Mondstadt into a dark era under the aristocracy. Interesting. Oh, we're getting like actual lore. Lady Vanessa overthrew the aristocracy. Oh, Lady Vanessa again as well. While the Lawrence clan quickly fell into obscurity. Was not expecting this much lore today. Over the next thousand years, their flame of vengeance continued to flicker and burn. But never again did it ignite into a blaze. Perhaps the finishing blow to the Lawrence clan was... Oh! She who is known as the Spindrift Knight. Spindrift Knight. The descendant of the Lawrence clan, Eula, joining the Knights of Favonius. Ah! The word vengeance is always upon her lips. She has proved time and again... So she's, she's, she's really gone against her family there. Her evil grandfather, Wilhelm. When a noble woman is speaking... You are to lower your drink and look her directly in Genshin, you guys are going in on this. <laughs> to learn some proper etiquette. I'm trying to learn some etiquette right now. Also, is that me, me ish? <laughs> Gazoon tight. May Jung Lee bless you. Gung Hilder girl. Okay, chat. Who is she talking about right there? Oh my gosh, okay, so. Mild first, let's start with the simping. I know you all want to do it, all right? All right, let's, let's start with first of all, Mahoyo. Mahoyo, we all know what you're doing, all right? I know you're trying to make sales here, but that's way too obvious, anyways. 100%, she's co completely correct. You're supposed to look her in the eyes while she's talking to you. What's wrong with you? Pay attention, guys, but on a real note, okay, without being stupid, we got actual lawyer. So, one, she's a part of the Lawrence family, as we can clearly tell, right? As she already said. We have the the first set of families here. Which one was the name? The Rog... Was that one the Rog and Victor? Am I... Jagging up. The Goonhilder clan. Goonhilder. Ron. That one specifically, which I'm assuming is Deluc, and I guess the one that Kaya is also a part of, since I think they were adopted brothers, correct? Um, and then Lawrence clan, which we have a person from now, as we can see here, uh, a terrible family. Uh, I already made my Twitter joke once. Uh, here we can see that they obviously plunge Munstead into terror, which we've seen before, and we've already talked about before with, um, uh, Lady Vanessa taking them down, in a sense, or at least saving the city. And we have that whole, uh, story with Jean as she goes about learning whether or not she wants to take on that role, um, of her title. Instead of just being the dandelion knight. In time, Lady Vanessa overthrew the aristocracy. I like the fact that we get the spear. If we ever get Lady Vanessa, um, I wonder, because she would obviously have to be like a sword user, right? Uh, if not, it'd be really interesting, because I'm pretty sure this is like her on the emblem right there, right? That's supposed to be her. be cool if we had a spear user for that, uh, but probably not. Or like a spear user with a flag. I'd really like that. Their flame of vengeance continued to flicker and burn. But never again did it ignite into a blaze. Mm. Perhaps the finishing blow to the Lawrence clan was she who is known as the Spindrift. So this is really, really cool. This right here, this artwork going into the vengeance part of that, and the vengeance not being able to burn out. I mean, burn on again. Most gifted descendant of the Lawrence clan, Eula, joined. She is literally, so again, this is this is literally turning the worst out of it. This is turning lemons into lemonade. She is the lemonade, and I am most likely going to simp 
Hard. I hope I don't have to spend like a hundred bucks for this. So we're gonna be summoning. I'm pretty sure I have 20 summons saved. I hope to God I don't have to do like a hundred dollars for that. I hope we don't get a bad 50-50 because this is the 50-50. But that artwork is so cool. This is actually really nice. Like, screw all the simping for five seconds. She looks tight right here. And that great sword looks sick. The line weight here for the artwork is really good. They have blue lines here, which is contrasting with the her regular peach's skin. So that's going really well with the shading. This also darker. Also, the hairish. It's reminding me a little bit of uh, Lightning Ferran from Final Fantasy XIII. Here, except... No, nah, she seems to have an attitude, too. We see this noble woman here. I love I love the contrast. We have a noble woman here who's standing here, and we have her on her weekend on a Sunday where she's just <laughs> she's kind of drunk, a little tipsy, not feeling her job right now, and mildly upset. Now, I wonder who she's talking about beforehand. Also, Aether drinking. I like the two angle from the art, too. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with her. Like, this is actually quite interesting, and I'm enjoying the way they're describing or showing these characters now. Um, just like with Zhao, they're kind of giving more backstory while they're doing it. Sometimes they allow other characters to do it, characters to do it like Zhang Li. This is a nice take of her just talking to you on like a Thursday of just what I'm saying, but you're so distracted about how hot she is, you're not paying attention like you should be. And that's wrong, chat. It's very wrong. Pay attention. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy. Tell me if you're going to be summoning for her. I definitely am. Uh, if you want to watch me suffer, we stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. I'm most likely either going to get really lucky and everyone's going to hate me or I'm going to suffer like crazy. And then they're all going to laugh. Uh, one or the other. But I am happy to have Eula joining onto the team. Physical cryo. You got to go freaking grinding for this. I'll catch you later. Peace. Don't leave!